Say good morning. Ruby, say good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> leaving today <laughs> so I'm just been doing like laundry and packing and cleaning we want to leave their cottage really clean um, because we're so thankful that they lent it to us and we want to leave it in tip-top condition so I have a lot of work to do not that we destroyed it or anything we totally didn't but you know when you have three kids in a house and using all the dishes and all that kind of stuff it takes a while to clean up so I'm doing that but it's a beautiful sunny day so the kids are out front riding their bikes and I hope to have some time by the lake before we leave today it's been such a good trip and I can't believe it's over already good morning from the cottage last day looks like I'm all here by myself just got out of the shower so I think the rest of them went on a Kayak adventure. I don't see them anywhere. Anyhow, it's been a beautiful three days at the cottage. <clears throat> Wish we had more time, but we do not. I take off tomorrow for Haiti with a team of 18, leaving very early in the morning. So follow us. Whoa! Yikes, I almost dropped my camera in the water. Follow us on our adventure to Haiti and back. Should be fun. Gonna run and see if I can find them on the canoe. Ruby's coming too. She needs to sit down. Ruby, lay down. Good girl. glasses in the water. Oh, you're really sinking the canoe. Yeah, I'm a big boy. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. What's up? Ruby, sit. You did? Yeah, I'm off to run in the canoe. You What's hey. your caterpillar's name, Mia? Callie. Because it's like how I love Hato, so I call her Callie. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, she's right here. Oh, she, she, do you see that? She's blue. Oh, weird. That's cool. I guess it was the sun made, maybe the sun made her blue a little bit. Maybe. Maybe she changed colors. Maybe. Very interesting, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, no, she's blue because she's sad that she can't get out. Maybe. What do we say? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome for the cottage time. Say thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Locke. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Locke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the last golf cart ride before we head home. Joel's driving. Where are you going, Joel? Don't go in the ditch. <laughs> Good boy. That's all right. Mia, are you scared? Uh, yeah, I don't like when Joel drives because he doesn't. Joel, look at He's pretty good, but he's not focusing on the world. No, he's much. not focusing very much. Ben, are you scared? No. no. I'm scared. So we started going into the ditch. Oh, oh, oh. I have to all do Good job, buddy. It's a little dusty today. Very nice, hot day. Super sad. Cottages are kind of sad, eh? Because you always have to leave them. Right? They're, they're fun, but they're sad. Because you always have to leave. Right? Yeah. Watch where you're going. You're not really focusing on the road, bud. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh. 
<laughs> Whoa, jeepers, creepers. I told you you were going to go on the date. She almost did. Yeah. Well, he actually did. <laughs> Sad. We're leaving the cottage. We just cleaned it. And now we're taking our last look at the lake. Always take a last look. So nice. <sighs> Guys, you gonna miss it? Nobody fall in right now. Yeah, no. That would really slow us down. There it is, last look of the lake. Bye, Goodbye, lake. Oh, it's gorgeous today. Careful, Jolie. I would just be playing on that water mat right now. Boo! All right, everybody. See you later. Oh, Goodbye. So long, farewell. I bid you say I do. Oh. Ruby, you coming home with us? You're gonna stay at the cottage. It wasn't horrible this time. Hmm? Huh? You're gonna come home or stay at the cottage? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, thank you, baby. We'll bring them home and we can remember the cottage by them. <laughs> Made it home. One piece. Are you excited, Mia? What's no. the first thing you're gonna do that we're home? Hopefully the alarm doesn't go off again. I do I'm know. gonna check and make sure my plants are still alive. Joel, what are you gonna do? Ruby, come on, come on. I'm gonna start packing for Haiti. Well, we are home now. I drove all the way <laughs> so that Chris could just like sleep and rest because um, he has a really big week coming up. He's going to Haiti, in case some of you didn't know on a missions trip with our church. Um, so I think there's a group of like 18 or more, maybe I got that number totally wrong, going. And they're going to basically lead like a youth program with um, the church that we're kind of affiliated with there. Um, yeah, so that'll be a big week for him and he actually leaves at like 2.45 a.m. this morning. So we came back from the cottage just in the nick of time for him to go to that. Um, but that brings me to my next point. Um, because the internet in Haiti is so um, on and off, and um, like it's literally a miracle if he gets a vlog uploaded when he's there, because he's been on trips there before. If you've been following us for a while, you've seen some Haiti vlogs. Um, but probably what we decided we're gonna do is the kids and I will send like a few clips here and there during the week, um, but just to keep things simple, and he'll be really busy as well to keep things easier for him. Um, the vlogs will mainly just be him in Haiti and the kids and I will just be um, filming random things here and there um, at home. So just in case you're wondering why you're not going to see us as much in the vlogs over the next week. So think of me. My hubby's going to be gone for nine days. <laughs> He's been traveling ever since I've known him, like ever since we were dating. So it's nothing new for me, um, but it's always over a little overwhelming to think of being a single mommy for <laughs> nine days and being the only one you know in charge of the kids but um god always provides for us and he always takes care of us and i'm so thankful for that um and yeah you can be also thinking of and praying for the team that's going to haiti um that they would just have a really fruitful trip and that everything will go smooth with their travel that everyone would stay healthy and that it would just be an awesome time you're gonna really love the haiti vlogs it's really cool to see just a different way of life and he's gonna be meeting lots of cool people there so look forward to that but we're definitely definitely gonna miss daddy i'm pretty sure i got burned today because we did go kayaking before we left the cottage and i wasn't wearing a hat and i have bug bites all over me that are so itchy but it was so worth it we had such a good time at the cottage so we came home to two fun packages we got our small more gear that shirt for chris and this for me this isn't the one i ordered so i don't know i ordered one that was light pink with white writing so they sent me the wrong one but uh, I still really like it. And then we also got a special package from, I don't know if you can see that, let's see if it will focus, from the Upstairs Illustrator. So 
a friend of ours. She used to be in the youth group when Chris and I were youth leaders. She is an artist and I love art and I love supporting, you know, small local artists. And I noticed, <laughs> I noticed that she's doing these family portraits that are kind of like, kind of cartoony, but really still true to life and really beautiful. And she made this for us. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I'm gonna frame it. It's a picture of our family. Isn't that so cute and Ruby? I love it. Oh, Katie, thank you so much. You did such a good job. I'm gonna cherish this. Ah, oh, love it. <laughs> so I gave her a picture to go off of, but she had to add in Ruby because Ruby wasn't in the picture and she changed a few things about it, but it honestly looks amazing. Oh, I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna put her link to her, like her email address down below and her Instagram so you can see some of her art. She's so good. She doesn't just do um like portrait she does all sorts of art so and I, I think she's a watercolor artist i think so i'm gonna put her instagram down below so that you can see because she is so good at what she does it's always fun coming home to packages here's the frame i got to put it in it's just like a soft like minty now i have to figure out where i'm gonna put it yeah i love it so much i've been looking at you know pictures like this on instagram for a really long time of different artists and then when i saw that she did them and I knew her and she did such a good job with them. I had to get one and I'm so glad I did. <laughs> like Tylenol and Advil. Yep. And yeah, bring some snacks. Yep. And he brought us a loaf of bread, but he squished it. That's okay. We still love him. Yeah, I didn't mean to. <laughs> We're gonna miss you. Mm. Yep. And your spiky beard. And my spiky beard will be back soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in Haiti. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. <laughs>